called Hydrant today. I'm going to show you in this video as you guys requested and you wanted to know how to clean up, how to repaste your laptop G series. So in this video I'm going to take you step by step how to disassemble, remove every part, keyboard, hard drive, RAM, CD-ROM, heatsink and how you can clean it up, repaste and put it back together step by step. This is a client of mine obviously they always love putting that Apple icon right on top. Don't know why. Because maybe they can't afford an Apple and they just put it right on top thinking this will switch it to the Apple. So yeah. Anyway, so to get it started you want to flip over the laptop. You want to remove the battery first by pulling this slider right here. You will release the battery. Next you want to remove the bottom cover just by loosening, it, loosening up the two screws. These screws they have a C-lock on them so you just have to loosen them up. That's it. Once you did that you want to lift up from this corner up and you're going to hear those you know, plastic click. That's fine. And this is the bottom cover you want to put it to one side. Next, you want to remove the hard drive by pulling this strip right here towards the ceiling. And the hard drive doesn't have any screws, you just have to lift it up from one side, from that side or this side, whichever side it makes it easy for you. So that's the hard drive and this is the connector for the hard drive adapter. If you want to replace your hard drive, this is as far as you go. Next, you want to remove the RAM by pulling the, these two triggers apart. The RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. There we go. Next, you want to remove the Wi Fi board by unplugging the antennas, the gray one and the black one, and remove the only screw that holds the board. If you don't know which screw goes where, just make sure you have organized screws you can put the Wi-Fi screw by the screw if you want to uh, if you open a lot of them you already know so yeah anyway so uh, let's go ahead and remove all the screws on the black cover on the bottom and the three screws right under the battery all right once we remove the screws on the black cover you're gonna remove the screws right in the between the RAM and the Wi-Fi, the CD-ROM screw, and the one right here by the hard drive connector. And also there's one right over there. Pretty much remove any screw that you see on the this golden part. Uh, once you remove that, people always grab the CD-ROM from here and they just yank it out. Do not do that, you're gonna damage the cover on the CD-ROM. That's why they give you this opening right here. This opening you can just push the CD-ROM towards the outward, just like this, and it will just pop open and you just can just slide it out. That's the proper way of pulling out your CD-ROM. Alright, next we're gonna remove the keyboards. To remove the keyboard, just flip open the laptop, open the screen. Now, down here I already made a video on how to remove the screen and the keyboard only. You have to remove these clips right here, loosen up the clip on between F5 and F6. Once you remove one, keep the guitar pick right there. And move the one on between F1 and Escape. Once you have that one there, just slide it, go all the way down to F11. And keep going all the way to home button. And the last one is on the page up. Once you remove these ones, put your finger right on the F8 underneath and pull up a little bit, about two centimeters. And you're gonna give this kind of arc to it, so you're gonna loosen up the side pins. Because the side pins you cannot push them or if you can push them try to do it but I will just pull the middle one so I can just bend it a little bit so the sides will come out Then flip open to remove the keyboard again you have to pull out this 
clip right here on the black one and just slide out the keyboard. So this is your keyboard. Next here, you want to remove the ribbon cable for the on-off switch, just same thing, lift up the clip right there and slide out the ribbon. Mouse pad, mouse clicks, same thing, just remove the clips. And this is for the side USBs, remove those two. Now we want to remove only one screw right here, there is no other screw. Once you remove that screw right there, you want to grab your guitar pick and you want to stick it right in between the bottom cover and the top cover. And you're just going to wiggle it around, all around it. And all the crumbs and cookies that you eat, they just fall right through here between the keys. So that's why I say do not eat right on top of the keyboard. There we go. Just lift up and this will be your bottom side. If you want to replace your on-off switch, it's right away here. There's a part number right on it. The bottom switch keyboard clicks and the touchpad. Next, down here we have the motherboard, the speakers and the power jack. So we already removed the ribbon cable for that one. Uh, what else? We're gonna remove the CD-ROM adapter. Same thing with the hard drive. Just pull out this cable. Remove the cable for the speakers. Remove the cable for the LED lights. Next, you wanna remove the ribbon cable for the screen. Just pull out from the sides. Now there's only one screw right over here. You wanna remove this screw. Once you remove that screw, you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard a little bit and then pull out the cable for the power jack and continue pulling it up. And there's your bottom chassis, power jack. If you want to replace your power jack, just lift up this. There's like two clips on the side. You have to pull the clips and the power jack will come out. You have to do it with the two screws, one tiny screw pulling the jack to the side, right there. There we go. So this is your power jack if you want to replace it, right over here. The part number is right on the cable. And just put it back in, the new one or the old one, and there will be a Alright, so for cleaning the motherboard, you want to flip the motherboard. This one does not have a video chip. Some of them they do come. It comes with it soldered on the board CPU. And this is your BIOS battery. If you want to replace your BIOS, if it doesn't hold the configuration for the BIOS, you can replace this battery. First, you want to remove the fan cable. Next, remove the heatsink. Once you remove the heatsink, you can just go ahead and lift up the whole thing. There you have the CPU, that's the puniest CPU ever. And there you have your heatsink. Now you want to clean the thermal paste on the CPU and the heatsink. You can remove this black tape right here, this is a Capton black tape. You can trash it, you don't need it. It will never touch the CPU. So you make it easy for cleaning. For cleaning, use a uh, thermal paste remover. Same thing with the motherboard. In the CPU. All right. Now we're gonna clean up the heatsink. To clean up the heatsink, you wanna remove the two tiny screws that hold the bottom plate of the heatsink. 
Uh, this screw is messed up, it's not coming out. So if the screw doesn't come out, you have to jack it up a little bit. So that's the only way it can come out. And there's a tiny clips right on the side, lift up the clips. There we go. So all this uh, dirt that you see here is gonna block the air passage. That's why what I'm talking about, you need to replace, uh, clean your heat sink. So I'm gonna clean up the heat sink and also I'm gonna pull out the fan right there. And clean up the fan and lubricate, put a lubrication right in the hole. And then we're gonna put it back together. All right, I clean up the dust on the heat sink right there. And I clean up the motor for the heat fan. And I'm gonna clean up the alcohol. I'm gonna apply it right in the middle to remove the old grease or dust or anything that is piled in there. And you need to clean it up because the old oil is already cooked up in there, so this dirt right here, you have to clean up everything. Once you clean up, you want to grab your injection oil and you're going to apply one or two drops right in the middle. Right, once you have that applied, you want to grab the fan, you're going to press it right on top. Make sure it's nice and lubricated. Once you got it right there, you want to put it back on. And you're going to put the screws on the bottom. Alright. Now we're going to apply an Arctic Silver right on the CPU. You want to apply a little bit or apply too much doesn't matter it's not conductive so it's not gonna harm you and you're gonna put the heat sink on top and put the four screws uh, make sure you put the fan in the fan jack most people always forget it once you got it like that and you want to flip it over, put the fan side on the bottom chassis, pull the cables to one side, this cable that we removed, the CD-ROM cable, the speaker cable and the LED light. And then keep it in 30 degrees angle and put down the power jack cable. Uh, you can go ahead and put the ribbon cable for the extra USB. You can actually go ahead and put the CD-ROM in place if you want. Just slide it down in place. Put the jack for the CD-ROM, the speaker jack cable. And put the LED light switch. Uh, put the ribbon cable for the LED or for the screen. You just have to push it down. Put the screw for the motherboard. Remember where it was, right here. Alright. Next, make sure everything is nice and toggled in. You want to grab the top cover. After you clean it up. You want to put it straight down and push down the corners, the sides, the front end, and you're going to hit those clicks. Next, put the ribbon cable for on off switch, ribbon cable for the mouse pad, the mouse clicks. 
and put the only screw that was on the bottom this cover next you want to grab the keyboard put the keyboard in this position right here flip it open like that and rub your finger on the pins make sure there is no dirt Just slide the ribbon cable right underneath the hinge and close it down put the bottom side of the keyboard right underneath and hold down the middle push down the sides and now push down the top sides make sure you hear those clicks once you're done with this close the screen flip it open close it I mean you want to put the Wi-Fi cables before you put the Wi-Fi in Snap in the cables, put it in 45 degree angle, slide it down. If the cable comes out, doesn't matter, try to put it back in. And make sure the cables go right underneath the plastic. Put the screw for that. Uh, once we have that one in there, we're gonna put the screws right on the bottom cover, but in the inside, the one that was right here, the one right away here. The keyboard, that one, and the DVD one. Once you have that one goes in, we're gonna put the screws right on the black cover and the three screws right under the battery. Uh, once we have all the screws in, we're gonna put the ram in, put the bottom ram in, 45 degree angle, push it down, so you hear those clicks sounding, put the top ram, push down. Grab the hard drive, put it face down, put the ribbon cable right in there, stick it back in there and then we're gonna put the last part, the bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video and if you like it click that thumbs up button. If you have any requests leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. To finish it up we're gonna put the last two screws. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.